parts thereof. Listen, how how beautiful could it be that you, you had the faith to believe God for a space or an area and that thing becomes as a tree. It becomes the greatest of all grains, the greatest of all the, the buildings and the, and the places in the area. And the Bible here says, listen, it even becomes a place for something different, a, a foreigner, Oshaba, uh -huh, it, 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 a different element, a different species, the bird to lodge on it under the Osiris. So it becomes a place for the bird to rest. Oh, lift your hands up and say, yes, Lord. I'm only talking to you for a little, few more minutes about faith. I'm talking about faith of God, the faith in God, the faith of what? The faith of a simple mustard seed. The faith of a simple mustard seed. It is imperative. I've been around a long time and I've never seen anything like it is now. Let me tell you something. The most faithless people that you'll find are the people in charge. Oftentimes people, it takes that little, it takes the private to tell the general what's about to happen. You understand? Sometimes under the Josiah, that's why the Bible teaches, be not weary and well doing. We'll reap if we faint not. Oh, Shabbat. Uh -huh. Sometimes you're looking for you're looking for the people and you're looking for the leaders the legion uh-huh but the leaders aren't leading you because guess what they don't have any answers oh Shabbat. and the reason why they have an answer some of them have never been were never told to lead anything and then in other cases they just don't believe. They need to be taught. Oh, Shabbat. See, we can't do anything with anxiety and all that stuff now because we're living in a day and time. We're living in a little satai shabu. We're living in a time where we must deal with God's Pacific. We must know that God is moving now under the Diosaya. We're definite under the Diosaya. I'm, I'm definite. I identify that God. God's presence or God's voice has spoken to me. My sheep hear my voice. I'm going to deal, Sire. I know God is going to heal her. I know God is going to heal him. Oh, Shabbat. I know God is going to make a way out of no way. I'm going to deal, Sire. Lift your hands up and say, yes, Lord. Oh, Shabbat. I know God's presence is here now. I'm going to deal, Sire. It's funny. Oh, Shabbat. Uh -huh. People don't have faith in God and faith of God. Oh, Shabbat. But they see everything in you but God. I'm going you know, I was at a place one time, Ushaba. I never forget. I went to the service, and the and the and the leader of this particular service was looking to this new uh, 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 this 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 visitor that came in from somewhere down south to sow a seed in in that particular ministry. Now, I had already had the seed in my pocket. And I was, I was going there, I was going there because I knew the people a long time, but the man talked so much, there was no way in the world I could leave a seed there. See, sometimes God can send, God can send, you, you, you need us, you need something. And, and, and gotta have, gotta have that thing come right to you, but you overlook it by your talking because you, you, you know, you haven't spent enough time in prayer. You've gotten so involved in things, what I want to call crafty things, things that don't equate or don't measure up to the things of God. You know, uh, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. shall they cast out devils. How do you define, how do you define the minister in my name? shall they cast out devils, not cast devils in, cast devils out. They'll lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Oh, Shabbat. See, we, you know, in the old days, like we talked a couple days ago about the widowed woman, you know, and, and Elisha. Listen, let me tell you something. We're not living in a day and time where we live in a day and time where people got titles and they got, they got all these things, but they have no power. They have no faith of the mustard seed. They can't speak they can't speak faith. They can't produce it because they don't got it. Oh, Shabbat. You know, I mean, listen, I mean, there's not too many people that can believe in the man of God or the woman of God. Oh, Shabbat. Because the man and woman of God don't believe. I'm the Osiah. The things they say don't come to pass and they make excuses. Oh, Shabbat. When they don't last. Or when their words don't last out. You understand what I'm saying? These little spurts. I'm the Osiah. 
but God is doing a new work right now. He said, he said, son, tell him, oh, Shabbat, ask the question, I am that I am, and why don't you trust me? And I'm saying it out to somebody tonight. Look, you're right there where you need to be. God is going to do it, and all he wants you to do tonight is trust him, oh, Shabbat. I know it's, uh, uh, I know it's not a popular thing anymore, oh, Shabbat. Uh -huh. Some of you, you didn't go to seminary. You don't have any formal training, but you know the altar. I'm the, the, the uh-huh you, you 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 know how to lay hands and and you know how to lay on the altar under the Osiah. there was a time where you seen those before you that believed god and miracles happened oh Shabbat. but this is not that time now people don't believe god like they used to oh Shabbat. i'm telling you right now my passing under the Osiah. the funny thing under the little seal it's it's normally it's it's normally those under the Osiah that that you couldn't imagine would not believe under the Osiah. See, God is what God is everything. God can do anything. Ushaba. I'm telling you right now, whatever the situation is, put it before God. Ushaba. And I'm telling you in this space under the Osiah, this space where they're not believing, I'm going to tell you another thing. I'm telling you that I am that I am. Why don't you trust me under the Osiah? Why you're not trusting him under the Osiah? He wants you to trust him and not the people because the people that you thought that you could depend on, Ushabah, the people that you thought that were with you, under the Osiah, the people that you thought that were praying and interceding with you, under the Osiah, the people that you thought that were lined up behind you, in front of you, on both sides, left and right, those people are sure enough vanishing, under the Osiah. Why? Because you're in your garden of Gethsemane, under the Osiah. Ah, you know, no, see here. That's why I hold on to take my will forever under the Osiah. God, I will doubt thee, never cleanse my soul, dear master, under the Osiah. Make me holy in thine. Uh, I, I'm excited about what God is doing in my life under the Osiah and the life of the others concerning you. You understand what I'm saying? But it's imperative that you have that faith of a mustard seed. It is imperative that you move out of the other space into this space. In Matthew 17, chapter 17, starting at verse 19. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have the faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall unto this mountain remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind go not out by prayer and fasting under the Osiah. And so you got to have faith. You you've been fasting and praying and yelling and screaming, but you got to have the faith of the mustard seed. You want to move that mountain, you want to see change, you want to see healing. You got to have faith of the mustard seed. Lift those hands up and say, Yes, Lord. I'm almost done. I'm about to close, but I wanted to encourage you tonight. And tell you, you just got to have a little more faithful Shabbat. You got to believe God for this one. Under the Osiah. Let me tell you something. There's nothing. The reason why something is bigger than you, O Shabbat, because all you see is you, O Shabbat. See, you see you before you see your miracle, O Shabbat. Words are very powerful under the Osiah. And when you unlearn, you just listen. You got loose lips and you don't mean no harm, but to, you won't listen to nobody. You won't allow no one to teach you, O Shabbat. You think that you got the answers under the Dio side, but I'm telling you right now, O Shabbat, uh, when you put yourself in God and you put your faith in God, O Shabbat, there's, there's nothing that can be, because God is everything, there's nothing that could possibly be greater than God under the Neosiah. You just got to have a little bit of faith, O Shabbat. I'm not talking about a Sunday school message, O Shabbat. I'm not talking about how much money you drive, how much money you got and how much money you put in. I'm not talking about that stuff. I'm not talking about all these things of works, O Shabbat. Jezebel did that too under the Neosiah. I just wanted to serve notice on you under the Neosiah. Uh, there are some that are doing works and workers of an 
iniquity. But we're talking today about God is asking the Pacific question, why don't you trust me, O Shabbat? Whatever the situation is, under the Neosiah, God can heal. Under the Neosiah, God can deliver. Under the Neosiah, in Hebrews 11, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Uh, uh, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed and by the word of Jehovah, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear under the Neosiah. Is there anybody out there that's got faith under the Neosiah? Right where in the space that I'm now, oh, Shapo, I God has put faith in me under the Neosiah. What? The faith of God, the faith in God. Ah, you know, when somebody says, well, apostle or pastor, uh, how are you going to do this and how you do that? <coughs> well, <coughs> all I know is I have the faith of God and the faith in God. Now, my faith goes like this, O Shabbat, that God can do anything but fail, and that I will stay under the Josiah, trust in him, O Shabbat, until this mountain is moved. But I know for sure, O Shabbat, that the mountain can't stay under the Josiah, because every day under the Josiah, that I'm in the space, I become larger under the Josiah. I become larger than my situation and my circumstances. I become larger than the financial obligation. I become larger than than the sickness under the Neosiah. I become larger than the confusion and the manipulation under the Neosiah. I become larger under the Neosiah than your words and chatter under the Neosiah. I become larger under the Neosiah. How under the Neosiah you characterize my situation and my circumstances. I become larger. Why? Oh, shit. I picked up a mustard seed under the Neosiah. And I had to examine it, O Shabbat. And when I examined it under the Neosiah, I see myself expanding under the Neosiah. I see myself under the Neosiah become under the Neosiah an, an endless, unshable number of grains. I see myself like the tree planted by the river waters that shall not be moved. I see myself under the Neosiah where, O Kenobosiah, where I said, take my will forever. I will doubt thee never, O Shebe. Cleanse my soul, dear master, under the Neosiah. Make me holy in thine. Now I have a problem, O Shabbat. Not so much a problem, but I, I sometimes want an understanding. See, because we use so many words, O Shabbat, and the words are very, very clear. You know, I was around someone a couple weeks ago, and they begin to tell me about their ministry and, and how the prophetic and the books that they got out and all this kind of stuff. And they were trying to show me pictures. Uh, a ministry, the definition of a ministry uh, by Webster's, uh, the definition of a ministry for English language learners, the ministry, religious leaders as a group, ministers as a group, uh, the office, duties of work or a religious ministry, a government department or the building in which it is located, Ushaba. So, you know, there are certain words that we just use freely. They got the, this ministry, that ministry, this ministry, that ministry. For you know, you don't even know what it is. You understand what I'm saying? But everything that, if it's religious and it's and it is circled around God, and it, it and it, it is a space of God. Uh huh. Meaning, uh, where are you at? I'm in a space called God. I'm having a God experience. And God is about to expose himself. And I think in faith in God, that should be your experience every time you enter these so-called places. But we know it's not to be the same. You understand what I'm saying? It's not like that oftentimes, uh, you know, because we're in places and things where God really doesn't exist. You understand what I'm saying? We got people that got things, but God is really not in the middle of that stuff. And, and, and because God is not there, you don't see God's results. People come in one way and out the other way. People promote flesh. 
Uh huh. They promote flesh. They don't promote the things of God and the faith of God. I'm looking for the day where he said, listen, there shall be another manifestation of my power. He said, what did he say? In my name, under the video side. No, he said, behold, I've given unto you power to tread upon scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the evil one or the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm you. So if you speak, if you know God, then God is his word. So you speak God, the faith in God, and you get God's results.